But why? Oh my goodness. So I'm sure you all have been made aware that Amber Rose was a speaker at the RNC. And as I said in my beginning of the video, why? Hmm? Can someone tell me why? Have Republicans learned absolutely nothing? Huh? Have they learned absolutely nothing? Have y'all just, just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, huh? Has Trump just removed your brain and put it with MAGA drivel? What on earth is Amber Rose doing speaking at the RNC? What the Republican Conservative Party reminds me of, it reminds me of not only the gaming industry, but it also reminds me of the scene in Dark Knight. You're garbage, you kills for money. Don't talk like one of them, you're not. Even if you'd like to be. That's what the RNC reminds me of. They so badly want to be like the cool kids. They so badly want to be like the group that's, you know, welcomes the, 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 the actors and the celebrities. And look, they're one of us. They so badly want to be the left. And that's where they're heading. That's where they actually are in many cases, right? They're so desperate for attention, so desperate that, hey, well, if we can't get a celebrity, we'll get, you know, Caitlyn Jenner on Fox News. Hey, if we can't get a celebrity, we'll, we'll get Amber Rose at the RNC. And I'm like, yo, y'all have tried this strategy before. Trump has basically, it's open borders on the RNC. Do you not understand this? It's open borders. The same nonsense that they constantly want to talk about, oh, it's the culture with black people, the culture, culture, culture. What do they have? All these MAGA rappers. Oh yeah, MAGA rapper, 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 right? I'm just like, isn't that the same culture you constantly wanna lambast and ridicule that you think is the cause of all black people's problems in the country? But now because they're saying what you like them to say, now it's cool, it's A-OK. -okay. This is emblematic of the Republican Party, Conservative Party, uh, Conservative Inc, PWT in a nutshell. They have no scruples, they have no standards, okay? It's utter, hypocrisy. And when I talk about the gaming industry, it's the same thing when it comes to Jeff Keighley. He's constantly trying to put out, you know, uh, celebrities and entertainers to come to the game awards. And it's like, instead of actually, you know, prioritizing the people who made you the game awards, the reason why you even have this presentation, you're constantly trying to pander to celebrities and get attention from here and, and Hollywood. And it's just, it's pathetic. That's what it is. It's pathetic. They've grown to be pathetic. And I hate to admit this. I absolutely hate to admit this, but Matt Walsh put out a tweet and I a hundred percent, a thousand percent agree with him. And what he basically did was bring people back to earth. Okay. Cause everyone's like, Oh, we got Amber Rose, Amber Rose. Do you think any of the white boomers in the audience know who the hell Amber Rose is? They clearly don't because her little banner was rapper and influencer. What? Rapper and influencer? I guess by sleeping with so many rappers, you somehow become a rapper? Is that what we're talking about? Influencer? Influencer of who? What is this? It's maddening to see this, this foolishness. Because Matt Walsh puts out a tweet and he talks about, you gave the primetime spot at the RNC to a self-proclaimed slut. This is the same woman who has a, you know, the slut campaign, who is a pro-abortion feminist Right? Who has a, a head, a forehead face tattoo. This is, this is who y'all are doing, dealing with? He's out of line, but he's right. How does this benefit the Republican Party? She's not going to mobilize any votes. And he is a hundred percent correct. And if you look at the comments underneath, it's a bunch of simpletons. You have people talking about, oh, well, people change, Matt. Uh, you know what? That's not true. You had, was it, the persistence? This guy, Lord, and the rest of them, once again, all came in via Trump. All the, the alphabet, okay, the, the, you know, the flaming individuals came in through Trump, okay? All this degeneracy came in through Trump that nobody, Nobody before Trump would advocate for. None of this would be in the party had it not been for Trump. The, the, the what's his name, Rob Bussy Smiths. None of this, none of this, okay? The Blair Whites, this is what I'm talking about, the hypocrisy. Blair White, biological man, but because this individual goes MAGA, 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 now all of a sudden she, she's one of the good trans, okay? Now we're gonna respect her pronouns. This has gotten, it's gotten, it's gotten too far, bro. It's gone cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I'm seeing people talking about, oh, I was a former Democrat. 
you don't know anything about the culture. All these dumb ass comments from dumb ass people, which is the reason for the degeneracy and the erosion of the Republican Conservative Party. You're practically the Democrats, except racist, even except overtly racist, right? That's the only difference between the Republicans and the Democrats right now. Because before, at least you guys were like socially conservative, but you're not even that. Give it some time, five years max, I guarantee the trans argument and the issues that they have right now, that'll be a thing of the past. They'll be arguing something else. Give it some time. So right now, this is absolute foolishness. I can't believe you would have Amber Rose, okay, someone who believes that she's an honorary white person as is, to be at the RNC to say what? Who do you think is getting voting advice from Amber Rose, huh? What culture is she a part of? The woman who doesn't identify as black but constantly wants to be sleeping with black and being around the culture that, well, she has no connection with. What? Who do you think is she's mobilizing? Matt Walsh is right. Nobody's voting for Trump because of Amber Rose. And white people, the, the base of the party, don't even know who she is. Like, this is foolishness. She is completely antithetical to everything allegedly the Republican Party stands for. She's not, right, not about a feminist, right? They're pro-life, not, not pro-abortion. They're all about the trad wife, not slut walks. Like, it, it just, oh my God, you guys are so pathetic. You're really so absolutely pathetic. They're so dumb. The PWTs of the base are so dumb. They're painfully dumb and they know this. They know this. Okay, I should do a separate video, but I'm gonna include it in here because there, there was a text message from JD Vance where he's talking about, hey, what we get are poor white people, right? That's what we get. That's what we should be focusing on. And you know what, maybe we should focus on possibly the blacks. So they even admit, <laughs> they even admit that they know that their audience are low educated, poor PWT, okay? Poor white trailer trash. That's what they admit they know. Okay, that's who they try to target. And who on God's green earth is listening to Amber Rose? Do you think Bubba is, is listening to Amber Rose? Hmm? Is that what you think? Do you think anyone, all right, knows who this woman is in these little states with like five people in them, these flyover states and these red areas? No, no, stop it. This is foolishness. This is garbage. And this is honestly, one of the many reasons how Trump is destroying the Republican Party, completely destroying it to where they have no credibility whatsoever. I mean, let's think about this. Did Kundis Owens move the goalposts with Blexit, huh? Did Blexit get y'all a bunch of votes, huh? Did it cause Trump to win via Blexit? Y'all are just, y'all are dumb, bro. It's as simple as that. Anyways, guys, that's a video. Th there is no, I, I, for sake of argument, there are those people who are like, well, Lucas, you have to understand that people change, that Jesus forgives salvation. And you know what? She maybe changed a different road. Look at Kundas Owens. I mean, Candace Owens, she changed overnight. Look at a lot of the homosexuals, okay? They, they changed overnight. And you know what? She could get Trump the victory, okay? Because she, a lot of the culture stuff, they look, they look at her because like, okay, she likes Jordans. Maybe I'll vote for who she's voting for. Or if you can't believe, no, you're dumb. Simple as that. No, you don't even know that she's not even liked within the culture that you think that she's targeting. <laughs> so stupid. Anyways, if you happen to disagree, you know where to find me. Friday through Sunday, you call in, we'll duke it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think. Is this 60 chess or is this, no, you're stupid and it's showing. Uh, more than usual and subscribe and all uh, that fun stuff till next time guys be amazing if we can't get a celebrity we'll get you know caitlin jenner on fox news hey